sure you're gonna be able to recognize this guy. Oh, yes. He's pretty distinctive. I ain't arresting that. What do you mean? I got a reputation to consider. Are you a rooster or a hen? Get off my foot. Are you a rooster or a hen? Oh, yeah. 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 Sims! Sims! Stavros, Mr. Doe. Oh, yeah. What do you want? I thought I'd pay you to protect me. What's your problem? I don't know. Please, maybe. Want in their cut. All right. We can handle it. Charlie 5 to control. Over. Be a good chicken. Sid says sorry. No hard feelings. Swerved in, right? My bullet entered here. It must be more towards the front. When did you I get the tip about Sims? About four this morning. Gone yet. Okay. And who was he? Well, actually, it turns out that he was one of the gang that Sid Lowe used on that payroll snatch a couple of years ago. Our friend, that Mr. Sid Lowe, deserved to go down for that one. Yeah. Well, Sims was on the booze, bro. He was just the kind of character. He would squeal on his boss when under pressure. Yeah. That was the plan. Look, well, we must have deflected off the table. At least we've got something now we can nail him to the wall for. Well, he would have used a hitman. Exactly. Yeah. What's that? Huh? Look at that. I told you. Am I right or am I right? This confirms this is the car. Was that entirely necessary, Dempsey? There's a lot of these kind of cars around. We stole him from a dealer about half a mile from the cafe. When? Just before Sims was shot. Minutes before. Someone at the cafe must have contacted Sid Lowe. It's a very tight neighborhood. United by one thing. A fear of Sid Lowe.
Mr. Lyle, nice to see you. Business all right. Can't complain. I'm not no more trouble with them soccer hooligans, have you? No. Thanks to you, Mr. Lord, I never come back. That's good, isn't it? You, you, you want some coffee? Um, light ale, sir. Fresh chips? I'm a bit worried about your memory, Stavros. Memory? Yeah. What do you mean? That phone call, what you made to me today. I never told nobody. You never made it. Sure, I never made it. You can remember that, can you? Of course. Of course, you could always tie a bit of cotton round your finger, couldn't you? So that you keep remembering. I don't forget. Well, the trouble is that, well, a bit of cotton might fall off, mightn't it? You know, what with the work you do and that. Mr. Law, you don't have to worry. No, what you want is something that will keep you remembering for a very long time. Wait, please. Outside a chicken takeaway on Sackville Street. Sort of info. Anything. 
come over that way today. Meet me at the Bramk at 6, 6.30. We appreciate it. Nobody's promising anything, Jimmy. No problem, Jacques. You are only breathing, mister, because she's here. Don't leave me. been asking the wrong questions. Nothing to worry about. A kid like Dad's got a lot of moxie. Virtually indestructible. Sergeant Makepeace? Yes. Jock from Casualty. We don't seem to have a surname. There isn't one. Well, I mean, it isn't known. I see. How is he? You'll see him in a moment. Presumably you can't put anything in yet for next of kin. No. One last question. The private room surcharge is being paid by Harriet Makepeace, is that you? Yes, it is, yes. So all the bills will be sent to you personally, not to Scotland Yard? That's right. Uh, you have my banker's address there. Fine. Is that your signature? Yes, it is, yes. That's all I need to know for now. So you can come this way. Sedated, which will make him seem in a worse condition than he really is. How bad is he? Oh, he'll be all right. He's in a lot of pain. They were very systematic. What about his hands? They used a hammer. anything out about Sims? Yeah. Huh? Do you want something? No! Some water. <laughs> <laughs> Turning 
need some rest? Hmm, I think so. I think you could use it. I could. Thanks. Where are you going? To the shop to get some milk. I'll go with you. Well, there's some other things I have to do. That's cool. Look, I just need to be alone for a bit. I ain't leaving you alone for a second. Your car's in the way. So it is. Why don't we take it? It's more comfortable. I feel like driving. All yours. What about Chinese food instead? Didn't think so. Mistake this time, Lo. Mistake? What you did to Jock. 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 No. No, we don't know anybody called Jock, do we? He didn't have to go that far. He's not Scottish, is he? I mean, you're not by any chance referring to that Scottish geezer what attacked me in the street this afternoon in front of a couple of witnesses. He isn't another Sims. Oh. What is he? For one thing, he's a friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, you've blown it now this time. Why's that? Because I'm going to be the biggest drag in your life. 24 hours a day, every day. Week after week, month after month, until eventually you can't stand it and you crack. He means something special to you, does he? This little tartan rat? You've permanently crippled his hand, Lo. Look, if you're so fond of him, Sergeant, why don't you put a bit more effort into it? You know, give him a bit of education, like yourself. Polish him up a bit. You could always pay for him to have violin lessons, couldn't you? <laughs> Which hand was it, Ian? Don't matter. Just have to tie the bow to his hand now. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes, I think I might toy with a bit of spaghetti bolognese. You do 
don't seem to be getting my message, Lo. You getting it now? What the hell's the matter with you? Have you gone crazy? You throw food on a guy like that? What, are you out of your mind? Listen, I got a better idea. If you really want to destroy him, you want to wreck his life, huh? You want to bring him down? This is his car. Go on. Let the air out of his tires. No, wait. I got an even better idea. Go to whole hog. Go on. Steal his windshield wipers, too. Let go of me. Can you see it now, huh? London gangster brought to his knees by brilliant undercover detective. Four flats, right? No wipers. Imagine it, Sergeant. It could rain. He'd be crippled. Shut up, Dempsey. I will when I see some sense in your eyes. Your brain's falling out over some punk kid. He's not some up. punk kid. Oh, then what is he? You emotionally involved with him? I'm not emotionally involved. Then what? Tell me. He is a human being. But what was Sims? A chicken? Huh? I didn't see you grab for the pasta when he got shot. You know who has the highest percentage of suicides? The most broken marriages? Huh? The highest degree of alcoholism. What are you talking about? Cops. I'm talking about cops who let their emotions foul them up. And that's what I see happening to you. Work and emotion, they don't go together. Are you listening to me? He didn't have any blood on his suit. He always wears suits. What? Tomorrow, I will check every dry cleaner in town. You all right? I just want to unwind a bit before I go home. With friends. Cheers. 
Uh. Cheers. I like that dress. Thank you. Oh, you do, do you? sunrise before? I think so. Well, this is a tequila sunset. Why is that? I made a mistake. I put the grenadine in first. Don't take me seriously. What? I don't know anything. That's fine. As far as I know. Morning. I feel fine. So fine. Yes, sir. I got one that you haven't heard. Yes, I'll. I'll okay. Pull. This farmer's got these three bulls, right? Big bull, middle bull, little bull. Right. As soon as I catch that. Okay. So he comes back in now, and he's got a truck. And he as soon as I can get hold of them, he's got the most confident I've ever seen. Okay? So the little get a bulls are behind the fence, they see this, right? Okay. And he looks at the other two bulls and he says, Well, oh, forget it, you have my tail. Right? The middle bull says, You have my fine. No look. And the, uh, the little bull is stomping and snorting the ground, you know. <laughs> so the big bull says, you're going to fight him for your one cow? And the little bull says, no, I just want to make sure he knows I'm a bull.
Mary, did you get a copy? Ballistics on the Mr. Chicken bullet. Oh, yeah, thanks. Crowding low may have to stop. Oh, no. Why? I had a squeal from legal. Lowe's new brief is causing a fuss. The last thing we need is another harassment charge. We'd have to lay off him altogether. That's ridiculous. Mm. Who's that? Just a second, George. They have an irrefutable bureaucratic argument. We're an undercover squad. Pistol whippings and parking ticket offences are for other departments. Why not have another go at the tax angle? Mm. You remember Jarrett in regional? Hmm. Well, he's now a link man with customs and excise. He owes us a favor or two. Get the finance file on those companies and take Jarrett to lunch. 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 Today? Whenever you have the time. Everything okay? What do you mean? You. Perfect. Good. Yes, George? No, I do not want to hand out your prizes at a bloody dog show. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Jazz, deal with the dowager on my phone, will you? And find out how the hell she got hold of my private line. Not from me, girl. Well, what about this spaghetti business, then? Spaghetti? I don't know nothing. Are you too solid on this case? Is there anything else I should know? You know how much I hate being kept in the dark. Especially about anything which might affect the sweet harmony of my beautifully orchestrated team. Hiya, Tiger. I'm making you sick. Did we or didn't we? Did we or didn't we what? You know exactly what I mean. I haven't the faintest idea. Sleep with each other. Come on, don't beat about the bush. Did we do it? You don't remember. Well, not much. Don't worry, I'm sure you were terrific. So, hmm. there you go. Fine. That's it, then. By the way, if it isn't too much to ask of your ego, would you mind sparing me the big display out there? Bothered you? Well, it's a little crass, I feel. Ah, right, sweetheart, I'll tell you what bothers me. I've just taken two big insults from you that I don't take from nobody. Correction, make that three. I don't know which one is worst. One, I don't brag about something, unless it's worth bragging about. Two, I'm no Prince Charles that has to get his charge by sleeping with some lush. And three, baby, believe me, 
even if you'd been comatose, lobotomized, anesthetized, and deep frozen, if I had, you would have remembered. Are you trying to tell me we didn't do it? What, is there something wrong with my speech? The verb's in the wrong place? Do you mean we didn't? Read my lips. N-O. You satisfied? No irony intended. What can I say? I'm sorry. No problem. You see, I thought you were laughing with the boys. I thought you were acting a bit snooty there for all the fun we had last night. You sure had a skinful. How did I get to bed? Well, you didn't look too comfortable lying there in the hallway. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell me something. How did I get into my pajamas? You don't remember. You put them on to go outside to say goodnight to your car. <laughs> I gotta tell you, make peace. I never would have believed it. I mean, you don't do it often, but when you do, it's a class act. You're one hell of a drunk. Westminster Hospital, Elizabeth Ward. There's been a shooting. Get down there. It's like 10. Where's Jock? Who? This guy dead? Full cast. He's coming down. Who is he? We don't know. He must be coming through the back emergency. Where's Jock, the patient? Could you have some space? I heard two loud bangs, that's all. Where's Jock? This isn't the patient. Have you just come on duty? Yes. One. Two, three. Where's the gun? You found the gun. No side of it. Sir. You haven't found the gun? Listen, I want you to stay with this guy. Don't let him out of your sight. You, stay right here. If he comes to, you bust him. You got that? Yes, sir. Listen, I don't want anybody to clean this room. I don't want anybody in. I don't want anybody near it until forensic and prints are through with it. And I want those bullets sent to ballistics at SI-10. You got it? Understood, sir. All his clothes have gone. Yeah, I figured Lowe sent him to finish him off. And Jock got away. With the gun. Speak Scotch here. Yeah? Try sign language. I'd like to meet you. Now, where's that? Oh. All right. Fine. Hey, 
was crazy. I was with Fanny Bray. I mean, I, this poor punk came in. I didn't know him from anywhere. He goes up, he smashes the bloody television. I mean, wrecks this video, and he throws me with a shooter. I've never seen a bloke before. I mean, he might have done I think I know where to find him. But I did nothing. No, Scotty, listen, that's been a mistake. Scotty, no, please, Say please. your prayers and count it down. No, no, please, Scotty, please, listen, Scotty. One. One, one. T -t -t Two. Three. Please, Scotty, please. Four. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Go ahead. You fire, then I'll fire. He wouldn't dare. Yes, he would, Jock. So the bullets match. Okay. That was ballistics. The bullets match. So we've got him. Good work. A compliment. Harry. I want you for a moment. Thank you. Next time you might not be so lucky. <laughs> 